Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you, the loser behind the monitor. Hey, uh, what are you doing here? Actually, you know what? I really don't care. I'll just jump straight to the point. What is that cheap plastic thing that's right next to your keyboard? <gasps> that thing is what you call a mouse? Oh, it's a gaming mouse, you say. You use that thing to click fast in Minecraft? <laughs> What a joke. I'm actually shocked that you would force yourself to use that cheap plastic piece of trash. Hey, okay, no need to get upset at me now. What do I use? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. I'm actually part of the Apple ecosystem. I only use the highest quality and most innovative products in my technology workflow. I'm sure that you wouldn't understand. But you know, I'm feeling a little bit generous today, so I think I'm gonna show you what it's like to be part of the Apple ecosystem, just so that you can know what you're missing out on. Sounds good? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, it's Intel here. Hope you guys enjoyed that little intro there. But in this video, we're gonna be using an Apple setup to PvP and to play Bedwars with. Apple has a really interesting reputation of making super expensive products that are, are questionable in whether or not they're worth it. And nothing says questionable more than Apple's mouse and keyboard, which we're going to be using in this video. So in this video, I wanted to answer the question, are these Apple peripherals that are super, super expensive complete trash, or is there actually something justifying their premium cost? And more importantly, are they going to be good enough to help us win a game of Bedwars? You guys are going to have to stick around to find out. I also do want to say that if you guys want to help support me in making videos like this, which involves spending money, then make sure to check out my Lunar Client cosmetics in the description below. Seriously, thank you to everyone who has checked out my Lunar Cosmetics, it really does mean the world to me. It's because of your support that I can keep making videos like this one. But anyways, with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we are on the Apple website right now, and I am going to go through with you guys exactly what products we're gonna get for this Apple setup. The first thing we're gonna get is the Apple Magic Mouse. And just look at this thing! Like, what is this? This is easily one of the strangest mice I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, let's just go over a few things. First of all, it only has one button. The entire top portion of this mouse is literally just one button. So I don't know how we're gonna right click, but I guess we're gonna figure that out once the mouse arrives. The shape is just, I like, I don't even know what to make of this shape. It's so flat and there's no room to grip it. I literally don't know what to say about this, but it's Apple. So I guess they're just ahead of the curve when it comes to ergonomics. Another funny thing about this mouse is that the charging port for it is on the bottom of the mouse. So you literally cannot use the mouse as it's charging because the cable is just gonna stick out from underneath the mouse, so there's no way to use it while it's charging. This mouse legitimately scares me, but you know what, I'm already committed to being part of the Apple ecosystem, so we're gonna go ahead and add this to the bag. The next product we're gonna get is the Apple Magic Keyboard, and this is a 60% keyboard that's essentially just ripped out of a laptop and slapped onto like an actual keyboard. It uses laptop switches. It does look pretty classy, and the keyboard's super thin, but it uses laptop switches and it's $100. Most keyboards that are in the $100 price range typically all use mechanical switches. And that's because mechanical switches are literally just better for typing. Like, they don't even compare to laptop switches. I'm just saying, but for $100, these laptop switches better feel nice as hell. But I guess we're gonna have to find out, so let's go ahead and add this to bag. The last thing I'm gonna be using are the Apple AirPods 3s, and these are one of their cheapest pair of headphones. Their headphones get crazy expensive. They're $180, and I'm actually not gonna buy them because I actually own a pair of them already. I use these for listening to music all the time, but I've never played Bedwars with them, so we're just gonna stick with these right here. I'm sorry that I'm not willing to pay like $500 for the Apple AirPods Max. I mean, look at our cart right now. Just for the mouse and keyboard itself, I'm spending $192 for this setup. That's the most I've ever spent on a setup video like this, and that's only the mouse and keyboard. With that being said though, I feel like being part of the Apple ecosystem now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and check these out and I will be back with you guys when the products arrive.
Okay, we're finally in game with the Apple setup. You can see I have the Apple Magic Mouse, the keyboard, I have the AirPods in it, and I'm even using my Apple Watch, so I feel so immersed in the Apple ecosystem right now. Uh, I don't know how to right click with this mouse. I thought it was just like two fingers and you push down, sort of like how it is on a, a trackpad, but I'm only left clicking right now. I don't really know what to do. To be honest, I don't even know if you can right click on this mouse. Like I have no idea. I, I did no research going into this. I will be right back just to figure out if I can actually right click with this mouse. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it turns out that it wasn't that hard. It's just pressure sensitive. I just have to click on the right side and it registers a right click. So that's how you right click. This is really weird. Like I'm not used to this at all. The mouse feels so strange. Right click feels really weird because there's no designated right click like the click feels so weird I think I'm gonna start off just trying to speed bridge and see if I can get anywhere doing that my goal is to get to the other side this is the most unnatural clicking experience I've ever had in my entire life. Let's see if I can make it to the other side. I think I'm getting a little more consistent. Never mind. You know, slow and steady wins the race. I don't need to speed bridge super, super fast here. Just try to get comfortable with the mouse. There. Are you serious? This is already starting to make my hand cramp up a little bit because I'm holding the mouse in such an awkward position. There's just nowhere to grip it. It's just completely flat and it's super, super strange and super unnatural. Okay, we actually got to the other side, nice. 11.3 seconds, it's not really fast by any means, but it, it it's a start, it means I'm making progress. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing about this mouse is that even though I can right click, I can't left and right click at the same time. Like pressing two fingers on the mouse just counts it as a left click. You can't block hit. This is going to be absolutely horrifying for me because I'm sort of a block hitting one trick. I think we're gonna start off with probably the most simplest PvP game mode on Hypixel. Uh, where is it? Here we go, Sumo, the game where you don't need to block it and you just need to click as fast as possible and pray for the best. This is either going to go one of two ways. I'm going to either cue someone extremely bad or I'm gonna cue someone who's cheating. So uh, we'll see what it is. Okay, we found a person. I can actually sort of jitter click on this mouse. It's not terrible. So we'll see how this does. Hello, uh, I don't even know how to say your name. Oh my God, aiming with this mouse is so weird. Please get off the edge. Ooh. Nice combo. Get those S tabs, yo, let's go. Let's do a few more just so that I can get a little more confident PvPing on this mouse before I hop straight into a Bedwars game. Honestly, if I lose, I don't even think it's because of the mouse. I think it's just because I'm bad at sumo. Uh, this person seems to be sort of a bot. Uh, you can go back into the lobby, sir. Okay, one more match just for good measure. Let's see how we do. I hope this person's not a, a tryhard, but we'll see. And they're cheating. I knew it would happen. <laughs> no. Okay, oh. GG. You know, I can speed bridge and I can PvP in sumo. That should prepare me enough for Bedwars, right? We'll see. I'm telling you guys right now, out of any setup that I've used on a video, this is definitely the worst. Like, by far. It's not even a competition. Okay, here we are in our first Bedwars game with the Apple setup. We'll see how we can do. Right off the bat, I'm really noticing that aiming with this mouse is really weird. Like, it, it, it's not fluid. It's not really accurate at all. Lee doesn't know what's coming for him. I got the power of Steve Jobs on my hand. Uh-oh. You can... Go away. Did that knock him into the void? It did not. Snag that bed. Try to take you out. <gasps> okay, we got our first rush. That's a really, really good sign. So I don't know if you guys can notice this, but when I turn my mouse, it's like really jittery. It's not smooth at all. And I'm pretty sure that is because the polling rate on this mouse is really, really low. If you don't know what polling rate is, it's basically the refresh rate of the mouse. So like, when I'm moving this mouse, it, it feels like I'm playing on like a 60 hertz monitor. It's really, really weird. I'm really unhappy that I can't block it with this mouse because I sort of suck without block hitting. Like I'm really not all that used to W tapping. Apple could have made it. So when you press two fingers on it, it does a left and right click, but uh, I guess they're, they're, they're just trying to be innovative here. Let's us go to gray team and hopefully I do not fall into the void doing that. Never mind. Hi, gray person. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just going to go and snag your bed real quick. Let's take that. So there we go. Okay. Start jitter clicking. Just got to look forward. Hopefully have to like W tap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yes. I don't think I've ever gotten this decided over a bed worst kill in my entire life. It's actually just us and one more person, which is actually very, very good. They are at mid. Let's go ahead and try to fight him at mid. Hello, Mr. Aqua person. I'm coming for your bed. Oh, I don't think he sees me. Snag that. Come on, come on, come on. Nice, we got the bed. Uh, it, where is he? Where is he? Come on, come on. 
Oh, get comboed! Get comboed by the magic mouse! Let's go! We actually won that! Bro, like, it's just, it's so innovative. This setup is just so innovative that it makes me into a better player. Okay, so that first game might have been a fluke, but let's go ahead and see how well we do in another game on Skyrise. So one thing that I'm noticing about the mouse is that despite the fact that it's like super small and compact, it is actually surprisingly heavy. Like I'm pretty sure this entire mouse is made out of aluminum and it makes it really, really hefty. And I think that might be a good thing for this mouse because of just like how awkward it is to hold, uh, having a little bit of heftiness does help make me have a little bit more of a stable grip. Go ahead, snag your bed. Mr. Aqua, let's see if we can actually take him out. Oh my god, my hits are cracked. I think I'm convinced that if you use Apple products, you just become like a better player, straight up. Ew, Pink, did you really side rush? Why do people keep side rushing on this map? One other thing I just discovered with this mouse, if you swipe it too fast, it spins out. You see how it like it, it doesn't track? That is something that $5 gaming mice on Wish do, and I would not expect an Apple mouse to do the same thing. Let me go ahead and snag this bed really fast. Thank you, Mr. Blue. It's awfully convenient that like no teams are going for me right now, and I'm just getting beds and stacking up. Like, this is going perfectly. Maybe this is all part of the plan. Everyone's scared of me because I'm part of the Apple ecosystem now, and I'm just better than everyone. Uh-oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Hi, Blue. Uh, can you come this way so I can fight you? Yeah. Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? You are going into the void. Please smack you into the void. Nope. Ooh, get a few more taps and you're dead. Let's go. <gasps> that was the last person. Okay, we're actually two for two right now. This is sort of sick. I'm totally not just extremely lucky with these games right now. Uh, no, that's actually all skill, by the way. Let's me actually talk about some of the other products besides the mouse. So the keyboard, it's a little more normal than the mouse. It's actually sort of like a standard keyboard. It has a slightly different layout that's sort of like exclusive to Apple, but it's not really that bad to use. It just feels like your normal 60% keyboard. It feels pretty good actually for a laptop keyboard. Except I'm not playing on a laptop, I'm playing on a desktop. Why am I using a laptop keyboard on desktop? Like, why? The reason that laptops use like chiclet style switches is because they're compact. But with this, like, th there's there's no need. Like, it, it could just have mechanical switches that feel a million times better. I don't really know what Apple is doing. Like, why did they use laptop switches in a desktop keyboard? It makes no sense. It does make the keyboard a little smaller, and I think that's, like, what they were going for, was, like, a, a more minimalistic sort of type setup. Uh, can I please kill you? Nice. But it makes no sense if you're using this for, like, a desktop. Like, unless you have, like, a crazy small desk, like, you don't need like that extra space for anything. Actually, they could have made this keyboard like literally the exact same size and just made it taller and included mechanical switches instead. Like, I, I don't understand it. It's really hard moving around with this mouse. Like, I can't turn it too fast or it like spins out and then like the aim, the tracking is like all weird. It's not precise. Let me actually show this off. So like if I go to like my FOV and I try to like adjust it finally, let's try to get it to 80. Okay. Get it slowly. Get it like it, it skips around, you know. Oh, um, someone's at my bed. Uh, I don't appreciate you being here, Red. Can we kill you really quickly? Ah! Maybe I should not have been talking about the weird aim and maybe I should have tried focusing on killing Red. That's sort of my bad. Hi, Gray. I'm gonna try and kill you right here. I'm actually getting like sort of crazy double hits right now. Like, I don't know why my hit detection is actually sort of cracked right now, but it's definitely helping me play with this setup. I need to go to mid. Um, I'm gonna be really, really nervous bridging. Like, I'm not confident at all bridging with this mouse yet. Like, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. There we go. Okay, so it's red, me, and then gray who still has their bed. I think I can pull this off. Definitely my favorite part about this setup, though, is the AirPods. I mean, I've already been using these AirPods for a long time. Like, I sort of love having AirPods. Connecting it to the PC was sort of strange. It was a little bit weird to connect it to my PC, but, like, now that it works, it just works fine. I don't think I would recommend buying AirPods for, like, your computer. I don't think that's, like, really the purpose of it at all. But, I mean, hey, it works, so I'm not complaining. Okay, we are a little better equipped and everyone is a final now, which is actually pretty sick, and we only have one more person. And I know that they are at gray base because they just took out their bed. Please don't fall, 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 please don't fall. Bridging on this makes me so nervous. Okay, I'm good. Let's go ahead, pot up right here. What's up, Red? Oh, I don't have time to pre-gap, which is a little bit scary. I see you have some fireballs. Let's go ahead and bait all of those out. You have a really annoying amount of fireballs. That is really, really weird. <laughs> get me out, get me go. What's up, buddy? 
can I please, please kill you? Shoot the fireball, you're one HP. Nice, okay, good stuff. Dude, we're actually winning all of, our, all of our games. What is this? He said, loser, fight me like a man. Um, Actually, I'm too innovative for that, Mr. Red. Okay, I think this is gonna be our last game here. We are on Pernicious. Also, something I've been doing is like after each one of these games, I have to switch to my other mouse to actually like save the footage because uh, this mouse doesn't have a scroll wheel and I sort of need my scroll wheel to like browse my OBS files. I don't know if there's a way to like scroll on this mouse. Like I really would not know. Hello, Gray. Uh, why did you throw all those diamonds, bro? What was the point of that? You can go back to your bed. If there is a scroll, if there is a way to scroll on this mouse, I would not know. It might be like a Mac exclusive thing. Like, I'm pretty sure there's probably a lot of features that this mouse has that's just like straight up like locked behind a map. Uh, oh my god, we actually killed him. Okay, so the magic mouse, it's really weird. Like, the shape is super strange, the clicks are, or should I say click, is really, really weird. The weight, like, everything about this mouse throws me off, but are there any actual redeeming qualities to it? Well, yes there are. I'd say there's actually two redeeming qualities, and the first one is actually the battery life. Now, I haven't really tested it, but I did do a little bit of research into the battery life of this mouse, and apparently it is sort of nuts. See if I can possibly take out pink right here. Oh, okay. And I don't really think I need to test that. I think it sort of makes sense. Like, first of all, the performance of the sensor, since like the polling rate is like so low, that has to like use less power, right? And the fact that like the sensor is just like really weird and like you can't really track properly with it in general, I'm assuming that's because like this mouse just does not take up that much power. And the fact that it's super heavy too, that probably means that it has a pretty decent battery in it. And I've heard from some people that this mouse can last up to months. The other thing is the build quality. Now, while I really don't agree with the design of this mouse, I'm pretty sure it's built like a tank. Like I'm pretty sure this mouse will never break unless something like really, really stupid happens. So Apple's always been like decent with their build quality on all of their products. And I wouldn't expect the build quality on this mouse to be trash. Uh-oh, it looks like there is someone above me. Uh, yo, bro, can you, like, come down, please? I dare you! I dare you! Drop down! Get out of here. Get out, get out, get out. Yes, kept my bed alive. Nice. I think that's the main thing with Apple, is that they sort of try to focus in on, like, maybe, like, one or two, like, niches with their products. And they focus on those niches and make them the best that they can. Uh-oh, yellow is actually coming for a blue bed. Yo, you're gonna have to defend your bed, sir, or else I am going to hopefully kill you. Yellow, don't you dare steal my final! Okay, you are so dead for that. Get out of here, yellow. So I think this mouse is just a good example of just Apple focusing on like one niche, which is battery life. And I wouldn't doubt that this mouse has like insane battery life. And apparently you can actually combo with it pretty well too. Hello, yellow person. Let's chuck a fireball in that direction. You are falling straight into the void. Dude, I think we're actually gonna win this game again. Like, I don't know how we're doing so well. No, yellow, I did not say that you are allowed to leave. Let me see if I can actually fist this person, maybe. See if that works. Hey, bro. You are going off into the edge. I don't know what your plan was there. Why didn't you try fighting me? Okay, well, GG. We won all four of our games with the Apple setup. And if you guys think I've been, like, cutting out games or anything, like, I am on a six win streak right now. I had two wins uh, before I started using the Apple setup, so this makes sense. Okay, so after having used these peripherals for a decent amount, I wanted to go back and answer the original question, are they worth it? Apple products are generally overpriced, but they do that because you can't find their products anywhere else, really. The Magic Mouse, Magic Keyboard, and AirPods are pretty much one of a kind, and you can't really find a product like them anywhere else. They're pretty much fashion statements. It's to show people that you have Apple products, and for some people, that is worth the money that you pay for. Now, are these products actually good? Well, excluding the AirPods, uh, for 99% of people, probably not. Apple made the Magic Mouse and Magic Keyboard with two things in mind. The first was to keep the battery life as long as possible, and the second is to make them super compact so you can fit them in, like, say, a backpack or something thing as you're traveling. For these two things alone, they are exceptionally good, but that doesn't mean that they're practical for most people. For most people, I don't think that the Apple mouse being slightly more compact than your average wireless mouse is going to justify the awful shape that sort of hurts to use. The Magic Keyboard is more usable, but you're really only buying that keyboard for its compactness, and I can't see a practical reason why you'd need a keyboard that compact. I think with the mouse, it makes a lot more sense because it's really easy to carry around with you to whatever setup you might be, whether it be at another 
laptop or desktop, having a super compact keyboard doesn't really make as much sense to me because typically if you're traveling around, you're probably using a laptop, which has a keyboard built into it. And that laptop keyboard is going to feel pretty dang similar to the Magic Keyboard because they're both chiclet keyboards. Now the AirPods are actually really, really nice though, and I don't think you need me to tell you that. I'm pretty sure that everyone has probably seen reviews of AirPods or knows people who uses them. They're a decent sounding pair of headphones that are easy to use and super compact, which for a lot of people is really, really convenient. So overall, I think the Magic Mouse and Magic Keyboard are both really stupid for most people unless you absolutely need something that's super compact and has great battery life. The AirPods are pretty alright, but I wouldn't really recommend using them at your desktop unless it's your only option. Was it worth the money? Absolutely not, but was it a little bit fun to use? Just a little. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed. This video took forever to make, and I'm sorry about slacking on the uploads. I will try to be a little bit more consistent, but if you stuck around to the end, just know that I really, really do appreciate you guys, and you guys are pretty much everything to me, so thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you want to help support me outside of watching my content, you can consider purchasing my Lunar Client cosmetics, which are in the description below. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.